Here we are. Back to where we were earlier. Well, now what? You want to hatch a plan to go to Asgard? I don't even know how we do that. I don't think we're getting in. Odin's not inviting us. But if, if Ragnarok is only going to be the destruction of Asgard, would that even be a bad thing? I think so, yeah, because Asgard is more than Odin, like Freya said before. I don't think we have a goal. I think we're just gonna... Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Okay. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake. No, there Though, isn't. I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. <sighs> I don't think there is. The other berserker's not here. There isn't anything in Asgard. Or, uh, Midgard. For now. But. I will take up what you just said. Why don't we go to... Get the jellyfish. Keep our mind off things and just try to chill. Norns have any good news for you? No. Ah, maybe buying something expensive will take your mind off it? <laughs> I hope so. At your service. We have the amulet slot. Thank you. We have Manny's Belt of Wisdom. Or Gip to Mather's Waste Guard. <laughs> I don't know, man. Upgrade this one, Berserker. It's got a whole bunch of stats. Gotta keep it spatter free this time, right? That means it's gotta be good. Kratos? Oh, these we have a whole setup though. We don't have the Berserker set yet. I'll take... Um... This is a straight upgrade from what I have right now. Strength and luck. This has runic? Okay, sure. It fits. Good. Ooh, the strength of this one is lower. A tad. Eh, hey, we'll try it out, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Armor so beautiful that it is said whoever wears it becomes instantly more likable and lucky. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, I feel like we should craft this one too, just to get the full set. Even though I just upgraded the Berserker. Hey, it's got this golden background and... Mm. Um, okay. Gonna keep it spatter-free this time, right? Kratos? <laughs> oh, dude, but this one really is better in every way because it's a higher level. Yeah, it kind of looks like it fits the set too. Okay, you know what? Forget it. There you go. What can I make for you? Blades of Chaos upgrade. Thank you. Always a joy to work on these. I forgot, but the the blades and the axe aren't equal. The axe has been better than the blades the whole time. No wonder I prefer it. Although I'm pretty sure that's not the only reason. <laughs> Rond of Deflection. Increases timing window on parries. Oh, their deaths will be painless. Ish. Purification. That oughta hurt him. Leave it at that for now. I'll disinfect my tools. Yeah, we're good. Take care of your armor, and it'll take care of you. Something like that. Amulet slot. Jotunheim's essence. Strength, vitality, luck. Something, something, the strongest defense is the strongest offense, or however you say that thing. Freya? Sigil punishment. Melee attacks against an enemy inflicted with hex deal bonus damage. 
Was that not already the case? Hmm. I'm okay for now. And uh, skills. There we go. Scorched sweep. Blazing explosion. I've been trying out the whole dragging people thingy. Yeah, Hyperion Grapple. Plume of Chaos. R1, 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 R2. Good for now. Freya. Runic arrows deal greatly increased status damage. Sonic explosions caused by Freya have an increased area of effect. Hex explosions have an increased area of effect. Ban your magic. Summon vines that grab an enemy lying down. Release a cloud of poison. The roots last longer. Summon vines that grab a launched enemy. Dealing heavy stun. Okay. Let's go check out the jellyfish then. They're basically telling me to try to process it anyway. And we can show Freya the jellyfish. She hasn't seen it before. The Elven Sanctum. The eyes? The Crucible... Maybe the thing that we have to find is somewhere in Midgard, but we can't find it here. Oh, the first part we found it in Svartalvheim. But we haven't found the second part yet. Right, back here. We can go beyond here now. Okay. Fine. If Freya hasn't been to Svartalvheim at all, right? Alfheim? What's there? We still have unfinished business there. We found a Hofgufa out in the Barrens, my lady. In terrible pain. We freed it, but there's another in turn somewhere beneath the Forbidden Sands. A Hofgufa? I haven't seen one since I was a child. Lead the way. I'm sorry, Alfheim. But she hasn't been to Svartalvheim either. Ragnarok is coming. You're gonna need to stock up. Luckily, I'm offering new items. Wow, amazing for us. Hello. Nice non-growling wolfies. Alright. We need Freya for this one. Because I don't think Atreus can open that thing. Not yet, anyway. I mean, not that he's even around. <laughs> Oh, it's still here! Hey, Freya, take a look! See it? That's crazy. Oh, hello! <laughs> we should go home and tell Tyr about what happened, too. He needs to know. Much of the sand has been cleared away, but another storm rages beyond that pass, which must mean... Another half gufa. Let's go. Odd. It looks as though the Light Elves sealed off this section of the Barrens. Why? Luckily for us, a very considerate goddess has enhanced our magic chisel, and we can unseal it. My. That is lucky. <laughs> The Forbidden Sands lay beyond. Contested territory, according to Bela. And another storm to endure. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, I like the electricity for the runic, uh, the relic. I like the electricity, but I like the Bifrost a bit more, I think. I can upgrade it. Let's throw two! Two Bifrost Chakrams. Cool. I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing Hathgufa. 
But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing right by all. Let's hope so. I'm not sure if this is gonna help with the whole light elf versus dark elf conflict, but hey. Well, best we start looking for a way underground. Keep a lookout for a cave! What is that crap? Is random rock sticking out? Okay. Uh, there's more. Songs of the Sands. Let's track this thing. Ew! Oh god, I forgot that. All this trypophobia inducing. Even that on the ground is kind of trypophobia inducing. I see an entrance! Here? I hope Freyr will appreciate our work here in the desert. I wonder if he knows how poorly this realm has fared in his absence. Aye. Hearing the Song of the Sands again is a rare privilege. Even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this Hofgufa is free. Which you're gonna help me with, right? This architecture... It is not of the Dark Elves. An abandoned ancient settlement, by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. More hive matter as well. I'd say we're on the right track then. Mmm, I don't like the hive stuff. Which way should we go? Ooh, not this way. This is the way back. Hmm? Yeah, looking at the wall is freaking me out already. Don't look at it. Thank you, thank you. Well, that's that. We can hear it already. What is... This kind of hive oh. material is sensitive to sound. How odd. Oh. I want to see if my axe can affect it too. No! Just Freya's arrows. The sonic arrows. When I last came here with you and Atreus, I assumed the absence of Alfheim's light was an aberration. I didn't realize it was covered by hive matter. Aye. And as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our trapped half for that matter. That's quite the empathetic perspective, Mimir. Well, dangle from a burly god's backside for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. <laughs> More hive, but denser. What does this mean? It's not mentioning the jellyfish anymore, it's a bunch of elves and a swirly thingy. Okay, I, I, ooh, ooh, I can't look around! I can't look! This is not your sound matter. Too thick for that. Oh. Maybe the twilight stone on the ground will help. Well, there you go. I didn't see the stone on the ground. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> now the sigil arrow stuck. People are getting mad. Yeah, go away, go away. Go away, we don't do weird little lizards around here. Oh, Freya just got decked in the face. Oh! I'm coming, Freya, don't worry. <laughs> Damn! Enemies to your left! I want the chest. Hurry up and give me the chest. Got him. 
Oh god, it's coming, it's coming! It's so fast! Wait, do they have a hive? Oh, no wonder. I was a dummy. Get out of here. Girl just wants a chest. Thank you very much. But I'll be glad to see that the lizards are the only enemies in here, which I... Ooh. Okay, here's the other weird little four-leg creature again. Whoa, what are you doing? Hey, more importantly, what are you? Was that not new? It's frozen. You coming? Oh, vines! Vines from Freya. That's not good. There's so many of these things. We saw dark elves in the other cave. Now it's all about light elves. Behind you! Incoming! Incoming back here! Uh, do these guys have some sort of a spawn point? Because I feel that like there's a lot of them too. One light elf. This is the last. It better be. Oh, nice dodge. Light elves don't often travel underneath the barrens, do they? Territory changes hands often in Nalfheim. Or so it appears. Big VR did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the light elf. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Well, at least they tried. Yet again, we're just randomly intruding on people's territory, doing things that possibly are upsetting the balance of whatever's happening here. But do we care? No. I suspect the corpse below would disagree. Sacrifice. No sacrifice in vain. A corpse lay below this one. I wonder if the poor soul wrote it before expiring, or if it was written by the fiend who caused said expiration. <laughs> Killing somebody and then calling it a sacrifice? That's cool. Freya is just like checking out whatever. I don't know what that symbol is all about. Ew, 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 ew. Nice of them to call it hive matter when it's really just disgusting garbage. Oh, frick, my, my face is crawling. Help me, Lord. Oh, I can't go up. Okay. Hurry up and get the half kafa and get out of here. Can we go down? Look there. That hive doesn't like sound, remember? Oh. Sorry, that's not sound. What's inside? Oh. I see. Good eye. Let's continue, shall we? I was looking at this graffiti thing here. Flowers or something. Mm. 
Oh, there's a lot going on down here. It's like a whole village. Architecturally. Hopefully not population-wise. Is my armor glow-in-the-dark? There's a green portion at the very bottom there. Incoming above you. Dude fell down. Oh, was that the little smart thingy? Kind of hit underground again. Okay. Oh, hello. Twilight stone here. Above you, Kratos. There was a little smart thingy here, wasn't there? The smarty lizard. I'm not being allowed to pick up stuff. Oh, that's why. Oh, sweet. There's your R1, R1, R1. Oh, God. No! Get that away! <gasps> nice dodge! Pretty sweet. I hope freeing these half goofers will allow them to breed again. It was a dazzling display once. The skies of Alfheim filled with their song. I imagine it's the lack of fresh light that's caused this pair to grow abnormally large. No use in having babies if there's nothing for them to feed on. Trying to protect their children from a harsh world. I can relate. So can Kratos. But maybe... <clears throat> there's always that saying that, oh, you know, you're, no matter how old you get, your, your child will always be a child to you. But at some point, maybe we just gotta let go. I guess I saw it wrong. I thought I saw a smarty lizard. I forgot what it's called. No, it is here! The smarty lizard! Look, it's smart! How do we get it? How do we get the smarty lizard? We're not leaving before we figure this out. Probably some combination of... Reflection? is that? Okay, I see a little thingy here that looks like we should break it. But with what? Hmm. Maybe we have to move on first and then come back? Wrap back around some other way? Because we have to do it from a place where they can't see, and clearly that's not going to be here. Maybe from back there? Or maybe some reflection? There are ways up there. Okay, maybe let's move on for now. Not yet. We need a whole linkage. No, I feel like we moved on from it. Yeah, like this is about something else entirely, isn't it? At least it feels that way. Let me wrap around here and have a look. Oh. Here you are. I wonder if these two comprehend the choice they face once freed. What choice do you speak of? The life cycle of the Hafgufa. In order to breed, they must pass on their light to their children. 
And without light, they will die. I suppose that's all any of us can hope for in the end. That our death has purpose. That we can live on through our children. Well, given another chance, I know what choice I would make. The choice that Kratos took from you. I don't know about all this. There's some Twilight Stone. All right. Um, I'll fix the half Kuva and then go back to the Smarty Lizard. We've got to get it. Oh, I don't want to look at any of this. Can the Twilight Stone... I see multiple paths and none of which <laughs> really helped me out. Where did we see the... the Twilight Stone was here. It's not a spot I can readily see. Here I can't do that. Well, they let me come here, so I've got to be doing something here. Oh, the sound thing. The sound thing. Tricky. The material looks really similar to the hive stuff. Good. Almost there. Mmm. Don't even see a link here. We can get two. Not good enough. Oh, it moved. Good enough? Happy? Nope. There you go. Well done. Time to set it loose. Aye. Back to the surface then. <laughs> I'm still thinking about the smarty lizard. Oh, hello. Sorry, I had all this stuff piled up for a while. You just happened to be on the receiving end. Ow! Don't get me from behind, please! Oh god. Is that it? Nope. Thank you, Freya. Actually, it doesn't seem like there's a way out here. Not that I can see. Pretty though. A pipe. Used in many of Freyr's blessings, I imagine. Tributes to Freyr. Oh, I was hoping we could see. Did it have a associated reading? Maybe not. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, wow, who would even look in the resources section? <laughs> I don't think this is useful at all, my god. <laughs> I thought we could read the previous Freyr artifacts. But this one didn't have a name, so I don't even know which one it might have been. Oh well, we'll see it in due time, maybe. Can we get the little lizard from here? Or am I going an entirely different way? Anger management. I 
feel like we're going an entirely different way. Now let me just have a look at the top of this part. If it's not what I expect, then I will go back. The fate of these creatures, it reminds me of a story. Does it? There once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such a power. So the blacksmith used the flame Kratos, of... is this a story meant to ease my grief? Perhaps it is just a story. A way to pass the time. I appreciate the <laughs> sentiment, but... Well, your stories... What about my stories? I wouldn't exactly call them a comfort. Fair. Mamir is the better storyteller. Now don't sell yourself short, brother. You've come a long way from the days of laconic fables. It's okay. Finish your story, Kratos. <laughs> the blacksmith's daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died trying to protect her from those who would open it. Well, at least it's a relatable story. It's insane that they can talk about what happened like this. Considering who was the one who did the killing and all that. Okay, we gotta get rid of that one. You know what though? This totally isn't the way. I gotta go back for the smarty lizard. Oh, you know what? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. If we can reflect it somehow... Well, let's try to go over there first. Oh, we have to see it from this angle. Hey, that's convenient then, me coming back like this. Otherwise, I never would have thought of it. Okay, but now what? Oh, now we go up on that platform. Hey! Half Kava's like, hey, can you please hurry up and open the cage, please? <laughs> Light runic attack, Hell's Touch. Extremely quick burst of energy that interrupts and knocks back all nearby enemies. We got a heavy runic attack for the blades, I think? Nemean Crush. Hey, straight upgrade. Massive fiery shockwave attack that sends enemies flying back. And there's a Hafkuva. And there's a dead lizard right here. Yeah, ah, 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 finally. Thank you. Back to our regularly scheduled Hafkuva releasing. Okay, so where were we? We opened up that thingy. Thank you. And we've got... Ooh, we got that thing. Can't even see where it goes. But we want to get rid of this thing, right? Voila! Thank you! Don't worry, Hafkava! Coming to get you, and you and your friend can reunite. Although, uh, if you're gonna be doing some breeding, I guess you wouldn't just be friends. That's so... it's kind of messed up, though. Hey, you guys are the last two of your kind, so, you know, go mate or something. It appears we've overstayed our welcome in Alfheim. It's again. I'm sorry, I didn't even see you come up. Just one of you? Barely any room here. Time to end this storm. Can hear you. <clears throat> oh, I was wondering why those rocks were glowing. They have little lizards on them.
There's some giant, like, Statue of Liberty looking thing over there. <laughs> and a raven. Now we gotta get to the cage. Cut this thing off again. Be free, and be good, my friend. Folgava! <laughs> Folgava! You're right. If my stories are of no comfort. Take solace in knowing you did what you thought was best for your son's safety. Even these creatures know. There is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. <sighs> I'm not, am I? And now neither are they. Yeah, we got we got a Folgava now. Be free, my friends. They're dancing. Incredible. The song of the sands. Well, didn't know I could get misty. It's beautiful. I like how during the big moments, Kratos takes Mimir out so that he can see too. Don't leave him behind. Thank you, Kratos. This land sings once more. We've done good here. Thank you for helping me, Freya. Couldn't have done it without you. Oh! No rush to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barrens? Wait, what does that mean? Oh, they turn into little ones! Wow! Did they immediately... What, what even happened in front of us? They just immediately mated? <laughs> and then they made a bunch of babies and died? They passed on their light to their children. Damn, they got down to work fast. Wow. Sky's been populated again. Wonderful. Folgava. Folgava. God, I have no idea what you are. Where are you under? Hafgava. The Hafgavas have been released and the sandstorms in the deserts have subsided. Once reunited, they mated, gave birth, and died. Their species will live on. I am pleased we were able to free them, and that I was able to spend this time with those who are close to me. Hmm. I think they probably wrote it like that because, uh, maybe not at this point, but I'm guessing these side quests, we can do it either with Atreus or Freya. So they want to be a bit more ambiguous, but the byproduct of that is that we're directly saying that Freya is someone close to me here. <laughs> These creatures offer a reminder that the time we have with our loved ones is short and never guaranteed. I will remember this moment fondly. Nice that we had one with Atreus and one with Freya. Thank you, Hafkavaz. Thank you. Let's go. We have some ravens in this area. We have to look around. Yeah, just look around in general. What's going on here? Oh, the other berserker happens to be here. Great. The elven sanctum. Well, great. Great. Berserker right now? Okay, it's not going to be great, but sure. Hold on. Never mind, maybe I'm getting distracted by something else first. Oh dear. <laughs> One second. One second. It's flying in a figure eight. A statue of my brother. How quaint. Oh, that's your brother. 
I see. I'm sorry, I'm still working on this. Give me one more second, Freya. This one took me the longest so far. Ugh. Your brother. That's odd. The runes are dark. What purpose does all this serve other than a testament to my brother's vanity? Difficult to say without an inscription. But it looks like the elves built this place together, light and dark. Which means this would have been their first act of cooperation in generations. A far cry from lasting peace, but perhaps it served as a monument. One that symbolizes the potential for peace. Yeah, Freya says this is her brother being vain, but it's not like he built this. The elves built this for him. Whoa. Restore Freya, Freya's gift. Do I want to put this somewhere? There are some receptacles on the side. Uh, Like those circular things? They look suspicious, but I don't think I can actually get up there right now. What am I meant to be doing with this? I can just put it down for now. Doesn't seem to reflect off of it. Let's look around. Oh. Takes away the bridge. Which... I'm not sure why we'd want to do that. Oh. I want you to let this go, which means I got, um... Can I hit you from here? From here, maybe. Oh, didn't get the last one. This statue may have survived Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. He didn't create a truce through diplomacy alone. His godhood, his very presence is what healed this land and allowed peace to take root. But once he left, he had to have known what would happen. Well... He had good reason to leave. Some jackass convinced his sister to marry a madman. <clears throat> it's not like he left for the heck of it. Are we trying to free the crystal so that we can bring it upward instead? Let's see. I thought there wasn't that much going on in the deserts, but... After the storms abated. Mmm. Strange. These crystals contain their own light. You're right. Normally we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could shed some light on this mystery. <laughs> There's this here too. Oh. <laughs> Did we get it? You said monuments are useless. Why restore this one? It was hidden for some time. Perhaps now it can serve as a reminder. Aye. Nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble. <laughs> can I jump with this thing? I can put this one here, just to have the bridge around. Sure, why not? I'm still not sure what the little puddle on the ground is, but... And what about this one? This one didn't seem to be doing anything. Unless if I just didn't see it. Can I jump over? Actually, I might not be able to. Can I? I can't. Because they want me to go up the ramp on the other side. So the ramp... Is there a ramp? Mmm, there is a slope there. Maybe it's powered by that one slot? 
Oh, there's a... I see. Okay, I, I just screwed myself over because I didn't need to um, put this one here. That's okay. Now we can take this one out and go up the ramp. Hmm, is it done? Is it done? Should we tell Freya about this? Okay, new problem. New problem. I don't think we can reflect- Okay, I can't even put the crystal down. Hold on. We need a twilight crystal at the minimum, right? There's some traces. Yeah, okay, maybe let's take this away for now. One quick second here. Oh, no, 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 no. The plaque is there, but how do we angle it right? If we stand here, oh. Hmm. Simple enough, I suppose. Freya, if you'd help me out a little bit, maybe we could get this going faster. Or you can just stand there and watch. <laughs> I know the night sky is really pretty these days. Tempting to just stand around. Looks like we can read the inscription now as well. Oh, maybe all of them mean something. Ring of crystal shards. In honor of the enlightened one, may his gift of light shine eternal. May his light serve as a beacon of harmony. May peace endure among the elves as we forever bask in its radiant glow. Ah, gift of light. The light from the crystals. It is in the sand now. Oh. Would you look at that? Freya's gift endures after all. Or should I say, his presence? You are not funny. <laughs> Wait, we got a new runic summon for Freya? We had steel harmony up until now. We can do invoke the storm. Higher runic, no stun, same damage, but much higher cooldown. Electrically charged fireflies. We can try it out. Well, cool, interesting. Oh, I gotta go back now. I'm sorry, I gotta steal one of you. If that's all right. <laughs> And then it'll... No, it's okay. It remains. So this one I have to put... I have to go around. All they had to do was make one extra crystal, but no. They had to recycle and give us all this work. Well, interesting. Hmm. Even when Freya was actually here, the peace was fragile. Surely a bit of extra light in the desert isn't enough to make it last. Before I met Faye, I could not imagine a life of peace. After her death, in our travels to Jotunheim, I found peace on my own. It remains my responsibility to make it last. Perhaps the elves will find peace again one day, even without Freyr's guidance. His presence continues to guide them, whether they realize it or not. But he doesn't normally belong in this realm anyway, so he can't just stay here forever. Interesting. Well, why not go to this one first then, in that case? Sure, we'll check that out. Give the Berserker a little bit more time to stay alive, because, you know, we're going to kick its butt as soon as we get over there. Ah! Oh, sweet, now all of these... All we gotta do is roll over and we'll get stuff. A light elf statue in the desert. Odd. 
On top of ancient elven ruins? I'd have to agree. Well, time to go check it out, I suppose. Sorry, I keep <laughs> I keep thinking we need to press something when we roll on top of it, but no. Oh uh, look! This is so addicting to just go over. Okay, okay, let's check out some of this. What's going on here? Ooh. So you just refuse to pick a favorite poem? That's uncharacteristically indecisive of you. I have a favorite poem already. One from my homeland. Gavassier? Trip. A poem of quiet melancholy by that poet Gavassier. Alone yet together, close yet apart, our long scarves a tether, cooperation and art. Speak without word, quest through the land, glide like a bird, draw names in the sand. Uh, is it like a, what's it called again? Unraveled? Unraveled, maybe? What you looking at, Freya? Whoa, Joe, what the hell? Holy God, why was Freya standing right on top of that? Woo! It doesn't matter when it's vulnerable. We're getting it now. Oh god, I can't see it. Feel free to come around. Wait, where? Oh, what the? What the heck? It's destroy them. What? It's so far away. Oh, this one has multiple springs. We have to find the springs to begin with, I think. Yes. It's got three springs this time, I think, looking at the bar, which is annoying. Be careful not to overextend. It's tempting, but we have to be smart about it, too. Like, I'm heavily overextending right now. Oh, God. Why is it here? Is this timed? I really hope it's not. Exorcist. Here we go again. the spring where is the spring like actually 
Hey, there's a raven! Okay, that sucks because- oh! Watch your left. Okay, I think we need to find- oh, this is where the spring was. Now we know. Now I gotta survive this one more time. Don't make it long for me, come on. I already did it once. Come on, Freya, let's get it. No! Did you see the stun bar? I was right there. Okay, that's one. Okay. You have time to do more than one thing if you know where the springs are to begin with. Mm. Look, I did so much better this time. I had nearly full health. It's always about the the mindset. Because <sighs> I got so close to stunning it last time, I was like, come on, just one more hit, one more hit, and I try to get a cheap shot in, and then that's where things go wrong. Ooh, much like Kratos, I have to train my mind too. Now can we please get a piece of this? So the next time we run into something like this again, while we're fighting, we should really be looking around for runes. Or uh, the, the springs. Because otherwise, everything will be in vain. Now there was a raven here, but how do we break down this entire thing? A little bit lower, maybe? That might be too low. Another raven freed. Freed. Yes, but I don't see a way to get inside the structure. Can we even climb onto it? Maybe we don't have to, but I'm seeing there's this this stuff here where it looks like it might be re oh that's a uh, brambly stuff. Gotta wait for Freya's thing to come back. I think. Oh, that's nothing. Hmm. Can I get that? Is that a little bit too far away for me still? There we go. No. We need to get the first one? Well, why is it... It wants me to do this one? Maybe I'm standing not in the right spot then. How do I get the first one as well? Do I have to maybe stand on this tower here? Yeah. There you go. All for this one pretty chest. It's not even that pretty. It's not the shiniest we've seen. We've seen better. <laughs> 